are soldiers to help us against the Legion. What's up, Gabe? How you doing? God bless you. God bless. I may have overheard some things at Gamora that I passed on to the NCR. That's all. Honest. What? I only talked to Captain Curtis over at McCarran. I would never work at Slavers. Honest. No. Well, not really. I mean, I'm not listening through doors or sneaking around or anything. People talk out loud, and I just pay attention. The NCR likes to keep tabs on the activities of the families, and they pay me good caps to hang around the casinos and keep my ears open. <coughs> it isn't normally. The NCR wanted me to just gamble and listen, nothing else. I do odd jobs here and there, usually helping Sarah keep the vault tidy. I came to New Vegas to be a professional gambler. Too bad for me that the professional part isn't working out so good, but I love gambling, so I'm here to stay on the strip until they kick me out. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh my gosh, she's gonna. She's Don't worry. Like, I'll stay out of trouble for. She she really loves gambling. That's what the, she says. I oh, well, I want to be a professional gambler. This game is a post-apocalyptic uh, uh, Vegas. No, I'm not playing online. I'm this. This is a single-player store story mode. A single-player story game. Good to see you again. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. Sure I have. I made the scene in the strip. It's just that I really like it here. Vault 21 is a kick. Oh, I need a better perception stat so I can do this. So I can ask you that question.
You said, am I staying warm? No. It's in the 20s degrees right now. It's really fucking cold. And NCR, welcome to you. Oh, I like this guy. I love these robots with their friendly little policemen faces. Sure, they still rough you up, but they look so happy. They really care about your privacy here at the tops. Even room service has an enlisted number. What? I hear James Garrett drove 5,000 head of Brahmin to New Reno. No bodies, just the heads. I know a guy. His motto is love thy neighbor. He lives next to a brothel. Oh, no. He said, I, I, know a, I, I, I know a guy, his, his motto is, love thy neighbor. He lives to, li next to a brothel. Oh, no. It's just too bad she's not a ghoul. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. The room is so small. When I put the key in the lock, I broke the window. My wife and I know the secret to a happy marriage. Two times a week, we go to a nice restaurant. She goes Mondays, I go Fridays. I've been married for 17 years. Where did I go wrong? You said you got a tornado and I, I, I'm in Cali too, but I'm in North Cali. I, I didn't see a tornado warning. I just have a winter storm warning where I am. Oh, I've been in love with the same woman for 17, 17 years. years. If my wife if finds out, out she killed me. Killed me. No. no. <laughs> I bought my wife a little time. He said, I've been in love with the same woman for 17 years. If my wife finds out, she'll kill me. No. <laughs> here in New Vegas, an Omerta. It has a hood under the hood. Ay, ay, ay. I take my wife everywhere, but somehow she keeps finding her way back. I did it. I had dinner at the Ultra Lux the other night. I told them my steak tastes funny. They said it was a clown. I ate a person. So I hear Mr. House runs the strip. He took it over from the last guy, Mr. Mob Infested Hellhole. Did he just say that? People say it's hard to survive the wasteland. Hey, how hard can it be? The water glows in the dark, and it burns. I try to be frank and earnest with women. In New Reno, I'm frank, and in the boneyard, I'm earnest. Oh, no! God bless you, Rico. Praying for your safety. Sure, later. I like this guy. You again? You should meet my bookie. You have something in common. Every time I talk to you, I lose caps. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. <laughs> I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. Breaks better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. Sure, Leia. Be advised. The Lucky 38 is not open to the general public. Trespassers will be shot. Yeah, I'm still going through a snowstorm. It's 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 in the twenties degrees right now. It's not snowing right now, but it's gonna snow. It'll it'll snow some tonight and tomorrow. It's it's gonna be snowing for the next two days and it's gonna be in this low temperatures. No, it's it's in the 20 it's it's like 20 28 degrees where I am right now 
Thank you so much, Rico. I, I, I just saw the $5 on Venmo. He said, God bless. Hope it helps. Thank you so much, Rico. It definitely does help. I appreciate you so much, man. God bless you. I, I pray for safety for you and your family and all of your friends through this uh, tornado warning you're going through. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot item. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Yeah, yeah, it's, it seems doubtful to me that y'all would have a tornado. A hurricane, maybe. I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? You know what? You're right. I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle. I suppose I could be a loving muse to some, while simply relieve stress and tension in others. Thanks for that insight. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. So basically this this one guy at this one casino, he told me he, that he needs a uh, he needs this talent for for his business so i'm going around trying to find some talent this is a post-apocalyptic hey thank you rico stay safe man thank you for stopping by and thank you so much for that five dollars man that means a lot i appreciate it i usually play in first person mode but when i'm at, when i'm on the strip I, I like to walk around with my recon uh, beret and my suit that I got from taking out this guy who shot me and left me for dead. I like I like looking at my character, but usually I play in in, in first person mode. You can switch back and forth. These are my followers. Her, her and this robot, they help me out. Nick and Ralph, all your shopping 
if it can be bought, it can be found at Nick and Ralph's. It, it, it can be pretty eerie not very it's not very scary look this guy's selling meat squirrel on a stick rad roach meat that's a cockroach crispy squirrel bits need some grub I got you covered cheap and filling Typically, I find it goes down better if I leave people guessing. So what do you say? Want some? I have my little helpers out and about, always looking. You may have seen them around somewhere yourself. Now deny your hunger no longer. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that, that's what I've been told. And so far, I agree, Joshua. You'll be... So far, I agree. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. You know what? I I, I haven't talked to the king yet. That that'll be something since I, I see some people in here like watching. That might be something that uh like this game. That might be something I can do for the stream. It can be Let, I, 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 I purposely haven't went went inside here yet. I've been saving it for a time like this, hey. man. I might need to roll up a spliff. It's it's so it's it's so uh Yeah, I might need to roll up a spliff. I just think it's so cool. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? So this is the kings and the get so far in the game they tell you that they're like the gang that runs uh the free side which is the uh the part of the city that uh that all that everybody is at all the all the poorest people are at and uh so he's like the gang leader and he runs the water pump. He said, so we cat, cat, so we cat, so we can't afford to eat or buy gas, but can afford city -o games. Got it. Um, I, I, I bought this game from the money that I, I got from YouTube. And this game was only like twenty dollars. I swear to God, it's only twenty. It was only twenty dollars for, all, with all the DLC. So I'm I'm very excited actually, because a few years ago I played a little bit of this, but I never finished it. And then I saw all these videos online talking about how Fallout New Vegas ha has the best like 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 lore 
and like the best like choices and like the best quest lines you know the best story you know so 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 i got really i got really psyched up to to play this game and, and, and you know it's actually also because i actually played outer worlds i i i played outer worlds which is uh made by the same company and it, it was you know a game made later like uh, as the same style as fallout new vegas but it's like set in space and i thought it was a great game i love the story i love the characters i you know it, it was actually times when it actually was thought provoking and, and and that's that's something that doesn't happen a lot for me because i'm so smart like most games they don't really they don't really uh stimulate my mind but outer worlds I, you know i really felt like it was one of those games that really stimulated my mind Just get okay. Who, who? Let's see who. Who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? <laughs> you believe this asshole man? Kings rule, and the king rules the king. Got it. And free side the kings rule, and the king rules the kings. I got it. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Okay, oh, okay, oh, okay. What's up, Vanilla? Definitely split worthy facts. Hey, Joshua, I'm, I'm, I'm glad somebody's in here who actually likes that game, likes this game. Um, so look, I, you know, I, I'm gonna show you after this conversation. I must show you my stats because I'm, you know, you, you, you know, you know, I, I, I really like the way I play. And I love that the developers for this game made made it so I can play this way. Like it, 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 in Outer Worlds, I, I literally like always upgraded my speech as much as I could, and and then by the end of the game, I literally didn't even have to fight the final battle or whatever. You know, I literally just talked like like I talked the main boss out of fighting me. You know, and I th I, th I thought that was awesome because like that's usually not an option in video games. I, I was surprised. I was like, well, it, it maybe it would be fun if I had a boss fight, but just the option to just be so powerful at talking to people that you can literally just a avoid the final boss fight just by upgrading your speech so much. So 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 that you know I you know I, I really love that game Outer Worlds. So. The the way I've been play the way I play these kind of games like I always upgrade my speech immediately like 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 I'll upgrade my speech before I upgrade any combat any combat any anything like that I'll upgrade it all the way to a hundred and so right you you see if you watch me play I'm gonna pass every speech check and um then after speech I worked on medicine. And you know, just other skills like repair and science. I think I did science after, you know, the main. That's the main skills to me: the sky, science, speech. Yo, what's up, Eric? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my stats after this conversation. See, there's there's a speech check right here for sixty. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. The bored looking guy. Uh, he's too cool. Things are tense on the strip right now. The head of one of Mr. House's families was killed. Time to lay low, you ask me. <laughs> It's a cyber dog. Look, its brain is its brain is Oh y'all y'all can't really see it because it's it's too bright. But but if you can see it from my angle, there's a brain inside there. That's Why pretty. Are you talking to me. Smoke these guys already. Oh, it's the king. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. 
I'm the king. What can I do for you? Charge. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. I accidentally skipped that. He asked what I paid him. Pace must be losing his touch. Either that or you're a smooth one. So, what can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered the side? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man told me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him, play the part of an innocent tourist, and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? I'm asking, why are you so in you know, you know, I don't want to question the king, but I do because I like getting extra dialogue. <laughs> why can't your men look into this? I've tried, but he can smell a king a mile away. Probably knows all our faces by now. He's not a stupid man, I'll give him that. What I need is someone he won't recognize, which makes you perfect. So are you gonna take the job or what? Why are you so interested in this? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings too. I'm just looking out for my men. I'm not trying to get some kind of unfair advantage. I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? All right, buddy, sure. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. He gave me 200 bucks. Things are tense on the strip right now. Oh, that's the hire of the guy. The house's family was killed. Time to lay low, you ask me. So, so basically, one of the kings uh bodyguards they never i mean i mean if you're watching this you you heard it but i but i i got i gotta go i was trying to find some some people for that guy's business but now i want to help out the king uh, gotta help out the king man stuff we're not even allowed to sell people only at Mick and Ralph's. Mick and Ralph's is located just before the East Gate. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Oh fuck, hold on. Need to cross Freeside. No one will be safer than I will. 200 caps gets in my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Okay, I'll hire you. This is the guy that apparently nobody will hire anybody else after they hire him. Let's see what happens. Okay, wait, you know what? Let me ask him some other questions first. Oh, I, 200 caps, that's twice everyone else is charging. I'm gonna say that. Hey, you want the best, you have to pay for it. Okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I'm gonna mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace and try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. 
Okay, I gotta follow him. He's my guide. And I gotta see see what what's hey, up. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Those guys randomly come up to me and give me gifts because your left here is the old Mormon fort. Because I I got a, such a good reputation. Look, so in this game, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm just gonna say it real quick. I'm not gonna explain it all for, for people who like the game and already know. You get a reputation for each town, it's a reputation for each group of people. Right here, I'm accepted by the free side people. Uh, oh yeah, I want to show you guys my stats. I put ten into charisma. I got my intelligence stat to ten. And I started out, first thing I did was get speech to 100 so I could do any dialogue that, any dialogue check. Got my science to 100 so I can hack all terminals and see, find that extra lore. Got the repair so I can do all that stuff. Got my medicine to 100. I'm working on my lock pick and my barter. And uh, I think there was another thing I was trying to work on, but after that, then I'll, then, then I'll start working on stats to upgrade my damage and health and stuff. But I always like to start with speech and science and stuff like that. Because it gives you more content. I'm ahead on the next block. I'm scared. Don't outnumber you five to one. Come to Mick and Ralph. Where, where's the guy? Oh, there he is. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen free something into the Wrangler. <laughs> hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Okay, he doesn't like the look of these men. Let's take a detail. Okay, oh you I'll I'll bite. Let's see what you let's see what's going on. It's running fast as hell. Oh, I passed an intelligence check. <clears throat> My intelligence had to be six or more to, to say this option. That's what I love about this game. It says, hey, you only fired three shots and there are four guys there. <clears throat> Notice that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue with one of them to hit the man behind him. Who was it that you faked this whole thing to drum up repeat business? That's an interesting theory you've got there. I suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Barter 50. I just got my barter up above 50. I want all the money you have on you. I can make it to the to the kings from here. I ought to take my chances and kill you right here. <coughs> you may be right. Here, take this. Don't think this is over though. I'll have that money back out of your hide if I have to. Oh, I, I just took all his money. Ah, $358. $358 caps. Nice. I passed the speech check and the barter check. Now let me go to the king and tell him what happened. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. There's talk of someone going... Sounds like the NCR and the Legion are both gearing up for a fight. 
Hey, what's up? It's too early, the king's probably sleeping. Where the hell the is the king? As long as we got the ammo and whiskey. It says he's right. It says he's right here. What the fuck? There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. So that's bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. What the hell? He's not here. It says he's right here, but he's not. Is there a third level? I'm trying to stay warm. It's in the 20 degrees right now. I've got my Did I fuck this up or what? Hello? You want your hair done too? No, no, no. The kings are many. And their hair must be perfect. There he is. What do you have for me? Or this is a fraud. He fakes attacks on his clients and then plays hero. So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while and resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information you can use. <coughs> okay, King. you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. What? Do you remember the people who attacked you? They were big guys. 
young too. No old geezer like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets. We started yelling back at him, then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about it. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. Hey! Tell the king we thank him for looking out for us. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? What? No, I thought you were supposed to be here to help, and here you are making accusations. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the- Oh, damn, it just reduced my fame. Because I, uh, because I questioned him. Damn it. Now, I, now I'm, I just restarted from before I talked to him. I'm not going to have my fame reduced because I said what the wrong it? thing. Can't you see I want to be left alone? Wait, that true? Did the key? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant. Wait. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Damn. <laughs> Tell the king we thank him for looking out for us. I will, buddy. Lieutenant. Let the king know what I found out. How you doing, buddy? I hear you're working out pretty well. The king's taking a shine to you. Yeah, he has. I'm that guy. Hey, king. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Uh, I, uh, the local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was identified by rank bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Nah. Shopping needs. Come to Nick and Ralph. Hello. Welcome. 
welcome. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? What's up? The Rangers are getting reinforcements? I hope they don't have to suck. Good to see you're still around. This one bar in town is trying to hire escorts and they particularly were looking for a, a ghoul, which is somebody who's been fucked up by radiation and a cowboy and she's a cowboy ghoul. And I convinced her to go work for him. Good to see you still around. Staler. Hello.
Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. This is what I sit here and do a, a lot of times. I'm not alive. Hello. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Nick and Ralph's. If you wonder what I'd be doing, just sitting here playing games like this. I, I I played that. I actually played uh, Final Fantasy one and two all the way through. I'm trying to find thirsty, horny, the atomic wrangler has you covered. I'm trying to find this spot, this person. If it can be bought, it can be found at Nick and Rock. It can be bought, but it can be found. Welcome, sir or madam. This kiosk was specially constructed.
are you today? Hey, anything going on? If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Hold up, what's the password? If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. Hold up, what's the password? I guess you're not... Here you go. I hope this helps. I heard some more people got attacked last night. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Thanks. <clears throat> yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please, tell them about this place. Yes? Was there something else? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Aww, she's yes? nice. Was there something else you needed? Yes, ma'am. That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. You know, Julie, not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the King, offering to coordinate the relief effort. In a manner of speaking, our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Yes? Was there something else you needed? Like I said before, it's not something I'm willing to discuss. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are other people waiting. Okay, bitch. They don't serve food to the locals. That's I mean, I appreciate the free food, but they 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 some they some they some assholes for that. They said they got attacked, they and now they punish all the locals. They're not gonna help none of the locals. That's fucked up, man. Oh, he's been chasing this damn animal for a minute. I need to help him kill it or it's ask him how he's doing. We're gonna have rat tonight. Rat. 
There you go, kid. I got them for you. Go ahead. You got it. He just walks past. He's like, we're going to have rat tonight. And then as soon as I kill it, he just walks past. Come on now. They could have wrote it that he, he will he will actually take the meat. Hey. Hey, how you doing? I gotta get back to one of these squatters. The Rangers are getting reinforcements? Yes, sir. They don't decide to bring the battle. <laughs> Hello. Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? Yes, sir. Sure am. I just recently arrived here from California. The NCR is the new California Republic. This game is set in 2270 2, something and there was a nuclear war and 200 years ago, about 220 years ago in this game. And this, these people, they, they are taking, trying to be the glory of California, New California Republic. And they use the, they use the bearer flag of California State. Sure am. I just recently arrived here from California. You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess I can believe that. Just head to the northwest part of town by the old train station. We start handing out supplies at 6 every night. There'll be some guards by the door, but just remember that the password is HOPE, and they'll let you buy right quick. Okay, the password is HOPE. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping The king is so here, generous. Right? The king says to keep up the good work. Except give you this. The king, he just gave me some Brahmin steak, bro. The king is, you know, I really like the king. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a generous guy, man. He, he knows I'm out here helping people, and he just randomly comes through and gives me stuff. Oh, I got an optional mission to. I don't have to do this, but I can inform the king that the NCR previously sent an envoy to discuss the tribute and supplies of Freeside. I'm definitely gonna do that optional quest. Maybe I can follow this guy back to, to the king. He's one of the king's guys. The great cons moved out. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Gotta yeah, talk to the king. Hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us. <laughs> or got some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? Oh, he wants me to keep my mouth shut about it. His name's Pacer. Pacer. It shows his name, but my... Oh, shit. Let's see. What's my silence worth to you? I still think he should know about it, or you're right, he shouldn't be bothered. I'm gonna say, what's my silence mean to you, huh? Hey, 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 hey. What's my silence mean to you? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it. He just gave me 200 caps, like $200, and said, oh, you're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this ought to do it. He said that I should listen to him and not talk to about it with the king. It's obvious, he, he I'm pretty sure this guy was in charge of the the sabotaging the NCR's relief aid and he doesn't want the king to know and 
I, right now I got three choices. I can barter. I have to have my barter skill at 50 and I do so I can pick this. I'm probably going to pick this. That's a good start to make him cough up more money but still tell, tell the king anyways. Uh, and this is thanks. I suddenly forgot what I was going to tell the king. I said thanks. This will help me keep me warm while I t tell the story to the king. <laughs> I must say that's a good start. That's a good start. Fine, here's some more. But you better keep your mouth shut. I'm out of here. Got some important business to take care of. He just gave me another hundred dollars. And then he ran away. What's up? Oh yeah, I'm talking to the king immediately. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Yeah, it's Pacer, dog. But that's not an option. The NCR is distributing supplies in a building down by the old trade station. I still haven't found anything. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm gonna do the first one. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? They're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. What are you going to do? Or let's not act rashly here. I'll, I'm going to tell them they sent someone to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Or the man was attacked and driven off. He never arrived. I'm... I'll do the second one. <laughs> that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. <laughs> It's been some strangers. Might be NCO. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell him I'm willing to cooperate. Okay, I got you, King. Hey, man. What are you up to? Later. Hi. I gotta tell him they're willing to cooperate. There's, there's, there's violence between the the King's Gang and the and the NCR, the New California Republic soldiers. I gotta mediate the conflict. God save us all. Where are they? Damn it. Wants to help with the relief effort. 
Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know the envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Nice, I just I just tell him to stand down. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the king. Let him know it's a ceasefire right now. We're trying to figure out the situation. They'll, they'll be in contact and hopefully everyone can survive this ordeal. Oh, there's a dead king right here. Oh, nice. This is a nice suit. Look, hold on. I can, I can put on his suit. Yeah, now I'm a king. I like how you can do third person mode or first person mode. Obviously it's made for first person mode, especially in combat you can tell, but it's nice to be able to look back at your character. Somebody please give my live stream a like. King, I need to talk to you. It's eight, eight, it was 8, 10 p.m. Sometimes the, the, the characters would go to sleep at a certain time and go up to their rooms. It look, it's the same thing as before. The, the king is still fucking coming down the stairs somewhere. I can't find him though. It'll take me forever to find his ass. I know he, he came down here. Saw a guy try to rush through the south gate a few days ago. Nothing left with dust, you know? The king promised to take us out tonight. I simply adore going to the tops. I want to go to the strip. We never get to go to Gamora anymore. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House is Man, it's like the king just takes forever to spawn. Like, he, he's just... It's glitching. The game's glitching some or something. talking about some pants pants. Rangers coming into the area soon. Like, we need more NCR here. I'm gonna exit, come back, and wait a little bit. There's talks. He's still not out here. Fuck. Where is the king? The thing about this game is they had a short development time and the NCPs don't always work correctly. So you just gotta try to You just you just gotta try to know know whenever it's fucking up and try to work with it. Like it says the king's right here, but he's not. And I don't see any way to go up higher. Oh, here, here it is. 
up? Oh, he's up here. Sounds like the NCR and the Legion are both gearing up for a fight. I heard all about what happened. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. It's saying a lot more so. He just said he got one favor. He's gonna grant me one favor, anything I want. I, I gotta save it. <clears throat> Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Okay, the, here's, your, here's my options. This building is interesting. What do you know about it? Where did you get the robot dog? What can you tell me about Freeside? Tell me about the Kings, about Rex here. Can I join the Kings? About the favor you owe me. Oh, I guess it, it's, I gotta put, put that one. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna ask them all the questions first. What can you tell me about Pacer and what's more important to people soon? Okay. Near as I can tell some sort of religious institution oh i know it's a school out front but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day people used to come here to learn about him to dress like him move like him to be him if that's not worship i don't know what is it's about elvis it's, it's so funny that that they got this whole like elvis place and this gang is basing their gang off this religious thing with them I'm gonna say, tell me more about them. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff is based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the King. And that's where you got the name from. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. If this was a school, what was taught here? As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool, and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Is that what you guys too pretended to be this guy? Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, it stopped working a few years back, so I sold him to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here too, along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Sure thing. What you have in mind? <laughs> Where did you get the robot dog? <laughs> I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him. But one of the followers fixed him right up. Is there something wrong with them? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. Can they do anything? No, they said they don't have the tools to help him. Can I help somehow? I don't know, maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet would be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. And there's a new quest. What can you tell me about Freeside? To understand Freeside, you have to look back a few years. Originally, we were all just tribes making a living in this area. That all changed when Mr. House came around. 
He made an offer to the three biggest tribes that were willing to listen to him. Today, everyone calls those tribes the Three Families, and they live in luxury and run their own casinos in the Strip. The rest of us were left to fight over the crumbs, living in the shadow of those more fortunate. Things got pretty nasty for a while, but we wanted more. A place of our own, a place where no one could tell us what to do, and we didn't want to go elsewhere to find it. So we took control of this place and made it our own. That's really all Freeside is, the best of a bad situation. <laughs> tell me about the Kings. We're different than other gangs, not just because we dress better. We're not just a group of thugs looking for our next fight. The Kings are about an idea, you see, where every man is free to follow his own path, do his own thing, where every man is a king in his own right. Can I join the Kings? Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we use the only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if you're fixing to join something fierce, stick around. If you play your cards right, things might change. We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old timers they must shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others, and that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. <clears throat> what can you tell me about Pacer? That's the guy who I think set up that thing. Pace? He and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. Who are the important people on Freeside? There's me, but I don't really like talking about myself. There's Julie Farkas and the other followers down at the old Mormon fort. The Garrett twins up at the Wrangler deserve mention. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Graffs, I suppose. And while they're not important in the overall scheme of things, there's Mick and Ralph, too. Just don't tell them I said that. Who all did you want to know about? Tell me about Julie. Julie represents the followers of the Apocalypse. They're a group that tries to help people out whenever they can, so we get along just fine. If you ever need to get patched up, one of their docks will have your riders rain in no time flat. They sell supplies too, or used to. Heard they were having trouble bringing stuff in, or keeping up with the demand, or something lately. Did you want to know about anyone else? I'd like to hear about the Garrett twins. Them twins are on the Atomic Wrangler, the only working casino here in Freeside. It's become pretty much the place to go around these parts. Give it a whirl when you've got some time. Now, was there anyone else you wanted to know about? They're a family-run business from out west that deal in weapons, mostly. A word of caution, though, they're not a friendly bunch. Not at all. Their store is just past the Wrangler and sells all kinds of fancy weapons that most people around here can afford. Anyone else you wanted to know about? Mick and Ralph sell all sorts of things at a small store over by the East Gate. They've done all right by us, and they'll do all right by you. You want to know about anyone else? Okay, let's see Things about the favor. Since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you?
I ask for one. So I can either say I want to join the Kings. Can you get me into the strip? I can really use some money. I'd like to think about it. Yeah, so I don't I don't I don't need money and I can already get into the strip. So I'm just gonna join the kings. Normally we don't let outsiders join, but I think I can make an exception in your case. I'll have one of the guys spread the word. From this day forward, you're one of us, and no one in Freeside will mess with you if they know what's good for them. In addition, if you want to do something about that hair of yours, talk to Sergio. I'll let him know you're coming. Perhaps more importantly, you've earned the right to wear something a little more stylish. Here, wear it proudly. Okay, I'm part of the Kings now. I'm gonna do a mission for the dog. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Welcome. my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work too. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. No problem. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. 
Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little barmans. Second, he doesn't like hats. Other people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting, that is. But I'm hoping you'll see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. What's up? Where is it? I had to get rid of this companion. Search and mark perk. Now I got a dog. What are you talking to me? Smoke these guys already.
So right now I'm traveling down this road, down this windy road to this location. Damn it, I was going the wrong way. Fuck. I'm dumb as hell. I'm I've been drinking a little bit. It's going the wrong way. I've got 46 hours already into this game. I got my dog and my home girl.
don't need it. Thanks, doggy. Jacob's down, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the night camp. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. <clears throat> it was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacob's town after an old friend. Died. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Was part of the super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with the tribal. Now I'm here. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the Super Mutants and Night King. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. Didn't end well. Town was broken hills. Bunch of Super Mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. We were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually we did nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. It was back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. It might not happen overnight. It might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. They expand. Fast. If you've got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Nikin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nikin aren't allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. 
Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Doc's inside the lodge. See you. about something important. You're interrupting my research. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population since they seem to have developed a natural stealth feel. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. The Stealth Field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. <clears throat> it's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nike. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horns to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. I've compared the brain chemistry of a nightkin to one of the local night stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that night stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's any coincidence. Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. If I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. <laughs> it's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years. But there was one woman in Novak, 
Gibson. Oh, I know. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends in Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Yes, yes. Going to old lady Gibson. It's 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 too late. Gibson. So you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but Ray is pretty old and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Raise like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. He and I had joined up with the same caravan. Add in a lot of whiskey and, uh, well, let's just say we got to know each other. We got to know each other. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. <laughs> oh. Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo. And whiskey. Got a problem, could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town and they just showed up again. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Whoever they are, they want us dead or gone. Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Looking to fight. I'll give NCR an excuse to come up here and wipe us out. You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Thanks. No way, I, I'm tight with the NCR, bro. I got you. Bro, I just, I, I swear to God, I, I just talk to these people with everything good, man. That's my character. Our business is with the muties, not you. Speech 65. Go away, or you'll have to deal with me, and you wish you weren't fighting super mutants instead. I've always known when to fight and when to back down. And it seems to me I ought to back down this time. Yeah. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Yeah, we better not, bro. I don't tolerate that bullshit. Get out of here. We've got nothing left to talk about. Yeah, we don't. Get out of here. Fucking bastard. Yeah, I, I, I told him to go away, bro. Don't worry. Something on your mind? 
good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Finally, I just leveled up. Smart, charismatic, and hell of a main street. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Night King, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Night King to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others, mutants included. Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep, the Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. A miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. That happens, there's a good chance other nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. See you. Oh yeah, just level up. Okay. I think barter really it's crazy how barter really is an important skill. All my points are going into barter. Oh yeah, I need more perception. Marcus could get us some mini guns and missile launchers. Dr. Henry's Prince Mark. Is there something else I can do for you? Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Have a seat. This will take a while. Faithful protector. Nice, okay.
Is there something else I can do for it? Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Yes, yes. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Humans are always staring at things. We Nikon don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil. And you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. I represent the Nightkin, Marcus. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand. The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacob's town was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place.
If you say you're going to gather evidence, now, no matter. You Heavens to bits. Inside the lucky 30. Nope. I'll get out of your hair then. My phone's at 2%. It's about to die. Thanks for watching.